American Samurai's Top 10 Lost Movie Classics 2013. Hola, como esta? Mi amo el Americano Samurai. And that was a little thing there for our, uh, for our for Spanish friends tuning in. Um, because today we're talking about another lost classic, and this movie is part of the El Santo series. So, hey, YouTubers. Okay, YouTubers, um, this is number nine on my list, coming straight from Mexico. And like I said in my introduction, that was my enhanced luchador mask. Unfortunately, I'm going to take a little page out of Super Crazy's book right now because I cannot wear my glasses while I'm wearing this. So, just let me. Ugh. Sorry about that. I am going to do the whole thing. But when I'm trying to follow a script. It's not that easy. Sorry about that. Okay. So. This is this is El Santo and Blue Demon versus Dracula and the Wolfman. Or is it referred to as here, Conta Dracula, El Hombre Lobo. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, this is one of the series of the uh, uh, one of the, a series of movies in the Santo Blue Demon series of movies, which features Santo and Blue Demon fighting a variety of monsters. In this movie. There is three wrestling matches. The first is Santo versus El Angel Blanco, which, if I remember, Spanish correctly means White Angel. The second is Blue Demon versus Ronaldo El Hippie, or I, if I'm trying to try this right, Ronaldo the Hippie. Okay. And finally, we have a tag team match between all four wrestlers that we had seen previously. Uh, the plot is essentially is the plot is essentially this: El Santo is called in. By his girlfriend. When it is feared an, an ancient curse may come true, causing the causing the death of her family. Um, and like I said, I will be working out here for this, so bear with me. It's not really my style, but I'm trying here. Uh, so it comes to the so it comes true. Enter Dracula and the Wolfman. Who in this one I believe is referred to as Rufus Rex or something like that. Uh, the Wolfman, not Dracula. Santos, seeing his, seeing he needs help, forms uh, calls for the Blue Demon to help him. That's all I'm telling you about the plot. Any more would ruin it for you. This is basically, as I said before, part of a series, and it's a series within a series because they do team ups. There's several movies where he's teamed up with Blue Demon, but there's also several movies that he's done by himself, and the concept's pretty similar, I think, with all the Santos movies. Um, one you may be familiar with, if you've watched Mr. Science Theater, is Samson vs. the Vampire Women. And that basically is El Santo. It was just, just translated as to Samson the Silver Mask Man for that particular picture. And there are, I think there are a couple that came out. Um, but this is basically continuing the tradition of the concept of them being superheroes as well as wrestlers. And that's what they always try, always try to incorporate into these movies, is... The um, wrestling element. In Sam's Force of Empire, when they did it pretty well. This one, um, they do an okay job. You could see three ma four, three different matches, and you could see some actual wrestling, and I thought it was kind of cool. It's a really interesting um, DVD. Um, this is this particular one is, has been released. It's in Spanish with English subtitles, so you will have to read if you get this one. There are some in the El Santo collection that I've released that are actually dubbed in English. Um, this is not one of them, though. Um, and if you've... So it has some interesting similarities now that I've seen some Dracula movies I can actually compare and contrast here. Um, you'll see the classic um, scene, like in the Hammer movies, where they kill somebody and use the blood to res resurrect Dracula. But in this case, they also use the blood to resurrect the Wolfman as well. Because the, uh, the professor who they're using was a descendant of the person who originally stopped Dracula and the Wolfman. And also they have, they mentioned a knife, which you if any of you have seen the Hammer series of films, you'll remember that quite often they mention a silver knife in those Dracula movies. So yeah, overall this is a great movie. I highly recommend it if you're a fan of the genre. Or if you're just a fan of um if you're either a fan of Lucha Libre or horror movies or both, you know, then I would highly recommend pick this up. This is Santo y el Blue Demon versus Contel Dr 
contra, contra Dracula el Hombre Lobo. Or in those of us who don't speak Spanish. Santo and the Blue Demon versus Dracula and the Wolfman. Now the interesting thing when you get these movies, since they're part of the Santa collection, they actually give you all kinds of little tidbits and stuff about the movie. And the other series, like who's in what and what's in what. So, yeah. If I get any more of these movies, I'll be sure and review them if you guys want me to. Like I said, this is Top 10 Lost Classics, and this is number 9 on my pick, straight from Mexico. Um, yeah. Eventually, I will have some other movies on here. I'm going to try and stay away from the typical well-known ones, um, so there will be no Godzilla movies on this one, unfortunately. Though I may do that next year, so, you know, keep an ear out. I may do a Godzilla thon next year. But this year is Top 10 Lost Classics, and this is my number 9 pick. Uh, Santo and Blue Demon versus Dracula. And count uh, the Blue Demon, Santa and the Blue Demon versus Dracula and the Wolfman. Overall, great movie, really enjoyable. I really liked it. Um, so this is the American Samurai saying, "Till next time." Adios, amigos.